There may be times when you want to place a callout, but rather than creating a new view, you want that callout to reference a view that already exists. You can do this by creating a reference view. For example, in this project, two wall sections have already been created. In the project browser, you can see that they are called curtain wall and typical footing. In the level 1 floor plan view, you can already see a wall section callout for the typical footing. When you zoom in, you can see that this callout already includes a detail number and sheet number, because that view has already been placed on sheet A101. Since the north wall will be constructed exactly the same as the south wall of the building, place another wall section callout on the north wall that refers to this same detail. To begin, zoom back out, and then, from the View ribbon, in the Create panel, start the Section tool. Note that you can also start this tool by clicking Section on the Quick Access toolbar. In the Type selector, choose Wall Section, so that the callout will look the same as other wall sections that have already been placed. On the Options bar, select Reference Other View. Then, in the drop down list, choose Section, Typical Footing, 1 A101. Then, click a point above the north wall in the middle of the building, and then click a point vertically below that to place a wall section callout. Notice that the section callout head displays the same detail number and sheet number as the callout on the south side of the building but also includes the letters SIM for similar. By default, Revit adds this to indicate that this is a reference callout, although, like most things in Revit, you can change this if you wish so that the SIM designation is not included. To do so, select Edit Type in the Properties palette. Under Graphics, there is a Reference Label parameter. You can change this to whatever you want, or leave it blank. Take note that this is a parameter for the view that is being referenced, and that it is a type property, so all callouts referencing this view type will display the same label. Click Cancel to close the dialog, and then click in blank space to deselect the section. Be aware that after a reference view has been created, you can change the view being referenced if needed. To do so, select the Reference View callout. Then, on the Options bar, you can expand the Reference Other View dropdown and change the view. Since this view is correct, do not change the reference. Click in blank space to deselect the section. Create another reference view. In the Project Browser, double-click the Curtain Wall section to open that view. Then, on the View ribbon, in the Create panel, click Callout. In the Options bar, select Reference Other View. And then, in the drop-down, select Drafting View, Curtain Wall Mullion Detail. Zoom in to the head of the curtain wall and click the Place a Rectangle callout surrounding the head of the window. Then, you can click to select the callout and use the grips to reposition the callout head. This time, the callout head does not include a detail number or sheet number, because the view being referenced has not yet been placed onto a sheet, but it includes the SIM designation, indicating that this is a view reference callout. In the Project Browser, scroll down and expand the Sheets branch, and then double-click to open Sheet A101. Now you can see the wall section and footing detail that have already been placed onto this sheet. When you zoom in on the curtain wall section, you can see the View Reference callout that you just added. In the Project Browser, select the Curtain Wall Mullion Detail Drafting View and drag and drop it onto the sheet. 
As soon as you click to place the detail, the view reference callout information is immediately filled in, showing the detail number and sheet number. Revit automatically fills in this information when you place views onto a sheet. And if you change the view number or sheet number, Revit will update all affected callouts.